Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Each month I like to stop by and share a look with you at what I received in my P.O. box for the month. I did skip the video last month, so today I'm going to be sharing April and May's mail. Most of these cards will be the, for the show us your sheet load feature, which if you're ever interested in how you can share your sheet load of cards, check out the description box below for the updated guidelines video. Basically, you can share on social media using the hashtags, or you can send in a card for this end of the month video. I also sometimes receive cards just because, and since my birthday was in April, I have a feeling a few of these might be birthday cards. If you would ever like to send me a Just Because card, my P.O. Box address is always toward the bottom of the description box. Let's go ahead and open this mail. Up first is a birthday card from my bestie Danny B. from Nebraska. We met for lunch where she treated me for my birthday and gave me this adorable card. I am just in love with anything rainbows and roller skates. Jonna S. from Georgia sent me this card with a nice birthday note inside. I just love that comfy, cozy looking chair and that cute little kitten. Jonna is part of the Danny Snail Mail group with me, and this was part of celebrating my birthday in April. Cheryl T. from Canada is also part of Danny's group, and she sent me this beautiful birthday card. I love the dainty die cuts, and she even included some extra for me. Marilyn M. from Michigan, that's a lot of M's, also sent me a birthday card. I love the pretty pastels and that floral cluster. CCS from Ohio blessed me with this beautiful birthday card. I'm loving the color combo on this and the fun layered flowers. Up next is another birthday card. This one is from Susie N. in Iowa. I am loving the postage stamp frame and the stamped and stenciled piece in the middle. I think that's from Tailored Expressions and I totally need to get mine out. So beautiful. Angie S. from Tennessee sent me this lovely birthday card. I love the papers, the colors, and that little cluster of flowers. This is a second card I've shared today where it has a little floral cluster. I would love to know where both of these are from. Megan K. from Illinois is on the Not Too Shabby design team with me, and she surprised me with this adorable birthday card. I just love that little dragon. Karen C. from Virginia surprised me with this beautiful butterfly birthday card. I love that colorful background she has created. And not only did I receive this card, but she also gifted me some TE goodies. Thank you so much, Karen. Crafty friend and longtime channel member, John Yell S. from Delaware, remembered me on my birthday with this beautiful card. You can't see it on screen, but there is lots of gold foil accents, and I totally want to be inspired by this and create a card. Drew P. from New Hampshire sent me this beautiful birthday card with lots of layers, and she also included some extra goodies. I can't wait to put those on a card. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin sent me this lovely birthday card. I love the pattern paper she chose, and it was pretty fitting since my birthday was in April that she used the April 2024 sheet load layout. Sandra J. from Washington sent me this next birthday card. The layout was inspired by a set that I did for Tailored Expressions. It's always fun to see how my work can inspire others because as you all know, I love to be inspired by cards that I see out there. Thank you, Sandra, for the card and for the extra special gift inside. It is greatly appreciated. 
Amy R. from Illinois sent me this adorable birthday card. I love those whimsical bunnies up in the air with balloons and the cute little clouds. Inside, she mentioned how she had used Close to My Heart products since they had just closed. If anybody else is sad about that, let us know in that comment section below. Delise from Illinois sent me this beautiful wreath birthday card. On the inside she noted that it was belated because she's better at making cards than sending them. And I totally feel that. I am the same way. Up next is a second card from Susie N. in Iowa, and she used the May 2024 sheet load layout for her card. I love the added little butterflies and how she has used pattern papers for her little framing strips. And last but certainly not least is another wonderful birthday card. This one comes from Carmen N. of California. She used a February 2024 sheet load of cards for her layout. I love the stripes with the polka dots and how she has popped up the little cupcake. I am once again reminded that I have the most talented and kind subscribers out there. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send in a card and especially for the kind birthday notes and wishes. Until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards. I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.